Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 11, circle. This is the second lesson. You have already got one lesson. Now pay your attention on the point. Diameter form. If x1, y1 and x2, y2 be the extremis of a diameter, that means the coordinates of the two ends of the diameter are given x1, y1 and x2, y2. In that case, equation of the circle will be x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 equal to 0. Next, general form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus 3 equal to 0. This form you have to remember. In this case, center always will be minus g minus f and radius root over g square plus f square minus c units. You have to remember. On this, two sums are given. Please pay your attention on the solution. Find the center radius and the equation of the circle drawn by the line segment joining the points this and this as diameter. Since minus 1, 2 and 3 minus 4 are the coordinates of two extremes of the diameter, therefore equation of the circle, that means the coordinates of the two ends of the diameter are given. This is why equation of the circle will be this. That means after writing the equation of the circle, then relevant values we have to put. After putting values, we are getting this. Then by simplifying, we are getting x square plus y square minus 2x plus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. Now we have to find out the center. Here, by comparing with this equation, in place of 2gx, here is minus 2x. So 2g equal to minus 2. By solving, we are getting the value of g minus 1. 2fy, in place of 2f, here is given 2. So this is why 2f equal to 2. So f equal to 1. Therefore, coordinates of the center, minus 1 plus 1. Finish. Next, we have to find out the radius. Radius by applying the formula root over g square plus f square minus c units. Here, minus 1 square plus 1 square. Here, 11 minus 11 and here is minus. So, minus minus it will be plus by calculation it is coming root over 13 units. The sum is completed. Next sum. Find the equation of the circle drawn on the on a diagonal of the rectangle and its diameter whose sides are lines given by this, this, this. Here you have to understand the problem clearly. Find the equation of the circle drawn on the diagonal, this is the diagonal, and equation of the four sides of the rectangle. This, 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 and this are given. And equation of x equal to 5, naturally x equal to 5 from the y equation, this is. And x equal to 2, x equal to 8 will be the this equation. And equation of y equal to 4, this, and y equal to 7, this equation. These are the equation of the sides of the rectangle. Let ABCD be the rectangle formed by the lines this, this, this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Coordinates of the points of ABCD are this line and this line. Intersect at A. Therefore, coordinates of A, 5, 4. This line and this line intersect at B. Therefore, equation coordinates of B, 8, 4. Similarly, coordinates of C, 8, 7, coordinates of D, 5, 7, respectively. Therefore, the equation of the circle having the diagonal AC as its diameter. Diagonal AC is as diameters. That is coordinates of A, that is 5, 4, and coordinates of C, that is 8, 7. So, coordinates of the two ends of the 
diameter is given, so equation will be this. After writing the equation, then we have to put the relevant values. After putting, then we have to simplify. If you follow the step attentively, then easily you will understand that finally the equation is coming. x square plus y square minus 13x minus 11y plus 68 equal to 0. Sum is completed. Here, vital things you have to remember these two. Then easily you will understand. Okay. Thank you, everybody.